All right, before I talk about what you're already seeing on screen right now, a bunch of new physical rewards regarding Mario, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. We're actually having another giveaway happening right now. Uh, we have two giveaways already going on, but we're going to start a third that's going to run here uh, for about a month and a half uh, through November. Uh, and that is for two copies of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury to enter. You have to comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. You get additional entries for joining our Discord server, following on Twitch, subbing on Twitch, all of that jazz. There will be links to all this down in the description. Also, we have two other giveaways going on, one for a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. There's a link down in the description to enter for that. <laughs> we also have... Another giveaway for two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So get that right. Three giveaways going on. Two of them that run through November. One that ends at the end of this month. I wish everyone luck. I know. It's a lot to keep track of. But we're going to make it work. All right. So what you're seeing on screen right now is a look at some brand new physical rewards that just launched. And hopefully this goes better than the Mario pin set. I know there's a lot of people still upset that they couldn't get their hands on that. In fact, I don't even think that's uh, on here anymore. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, even these things are out of stock and might never get restocked from Xenoblade and Animal Crossing, these keychains. Um, but you'll see here, first off, we got the Mario Kart Home Circuit Racer ID holder. Uh, this is cool because this launches uh, today, actually, or tomorrow, I believe. Uh, 800 platinum points. Uh, it's just a lanyard where you can put, like, your name on it, and it's like an ID badge. Uh, kind of cool, um, but this is, like, really cool. So Super Mario 3D All-Stars, you can get a, a set of three posters. Uh, now, they do know the frames do not come with it, so they're obviously you're just going to get the posters. Uh, it looks like the code expires on November 30th. Uh, limited time only while supplies last, limited one per Nintendo account, all that jazz, 800 platinum. Now, I only have 70, so I won't be getting it, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have enough platinum points. Uh, we also have a Super Mario zipper case. Um, so nothing special here. It's just like a little tiny zipper case. You can put headphones in it. You can put Switch cartridges in it, all that jazz. Uh, this is obviously a new item as well. Uh, Mario-themed, you know how it goes, 35th anniversary. We have some new Paper Mario, the Origami King stuff as well. Uh, so this looks like it is like a card set of sorts um, with like, or maybe it's a sticker set. I think maybe it's a sticker set looking at this now. Uh, doesn't really give a ton of details on it. Um, I guess if you scroll on here, you can see some extra details. So paper crafted adventure unfolds on Nintendo Switch. The paper Mario series uh, with origami twist. Oh, so these are like little origami things. That's cool. Um, so yeah, as as I'm going through all this, um, you know, we have, we have a postcard set here as well for Paper Mario: The Origami King that you can pick up for 300 points. Um, I think it's just interesting to see the Nintendo do these physical awards. Uh, this is one thing that was a big deal with Club Nintendo back in the day. Uh, a lot of people really enjoyed physical awards. And then they went away. Like, they did some really cool ones. We used to be able to get statues and all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, that is not the case anymore. We don't get that kind of stuff. Uh, but we are getting some physical awards. And I think some is better than none. Uh, it's interesting that it's with the platinum rewards, not with the gold points, because like the gold points are like for purchasing. The platinum is for actually doing things in games. Uh, so I find that to be extremely interesting that they went that route with this. Uh, but I'm just happy that we even have this like as an option. Um, you know, these posters here just look fantastic. You know, I, I would love to have them. They look like they're, you know, kind of mini posters, but dude, I would take those and frame them and put them on my wall any day. Heck, someone wants to get them for me, let me know. Um, because I really want to add these to my collection. And I'm actually curious, like, what else Nintendo is going to be adding to this. Obviously, with the Mario 35th anniversary, we're getting a lot of Mario stuff right now. But I actually want to see, like, are we going to get something special next month for Age of Calamity or for the 35th anniversary? Like, here you see some headphones and, and uh, you know, some Switch cartridges just kind of being tossed in there. I don't know if that's the best way to store Switch cartridges, but, hey, it's something at least. Um, but, yeah, I'm honestly, physical awards are back. And physical awards need to remain. 
They need to be something that uh, we keep around. I know that Nintendo doesn't have a traditional achievement system, even though this is kind of sort of like an achievement system. In fact, like, let's just go, you know, how, how do you even earn points, right? So, like, if I go to my points here, you'll see, you know, I got 70 or whatever. Um, but if you go out to my Nintendo, like, we'll just talk about, like, how you even earn these points. Let's say you want to earn... You want to earn some points here, right? So, first off, you got some some pocket candy. These are mobile points. So you can't really use them much, to be completely honest. Um, Mario Rum. But then here we get into the platinum points. And as you can see, like, you know, find the first hidden Poochie Pup on Yoshi's Crafted World. Boom. That's 50, right? You know, these are, these are literally, like, achievements. Like, find the second. Find the third. Now, these are ones that I can do based on games that I already own. Um, as you can see, I've already done all of these ones. Uh, sign up to the Nintendo eShop on Wii U and 3DS. Um, you can get that every week, apparently. Uh, you know, Astral Chain. You know, a whole bunch of Astral Chain uh, achievements as well. Uh, here's one where I could take the Super Mario quiz, I guess. I could do that. Uh, download. This is, this is my Mario image. Uh, try the Super Mario. Like, like it's just kind of cool. Like, they have all these ways that you can earn. As you can see, I can't even earn enough to get any of this. Like, even if I could did all of these things... Um, I would not get enough. Like even cold stolen creamery has a code that you can redeem for a hundred. Uh, so like you really got to pile these up over time to get anything significant out of this program. But still the fact that there's even an option uh, for this stuff is great. Um, I'm, I'm just like, I'm literally going to go take this Mario quiz like right now or, or whatever. Let's, let's see what this is like for 50. Screw it. Let's find it. Oh, you can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. Mission details. Wait, what's it say? Hold on. This one says, uh, complete the mission by taking the Super Mario quiz at supermario35.com. All right. Let's go to supermario35.com then, shall we? You know, this this is just really cool that they do this. So Super Mar supermario35.com. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, we have some My Nintendo missions. Here we go. Uh, let's see all the missions. Uh see all missions sign up for the super mario uh maker 2 ninja speed run online challenge uh participate in the super mario maker 2 play super mario see i've done this one i've done that one i've, I've got that completed uh redeem code from colton so creamy can't do that uh visit the official mario super mario um i've completed that now i guess uh let's see here take here's the quiz take the quiz um Except I can't take the quiz. I can't take the quiz. What the hell? Uh, download this. Like, this is just telling me the same stuff. I'm on Super Mario 35. I'm on it. I'm at the website. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? See, it gets really confusing. This, this to me, is, is kind of confusing. Um, I have three out of ten missions completed. Here's the quiz. There's the quiz. It's a Mario time. Now watch me. Uh, let's go with a hard one. Let's go difficult. In the Super Mario Sunshine game, Mario uses a tool strapped to his back to clean up messes on Isle Delfino called Flood. What does Flood stand for? Oh, geez. What a uh, flash liquidizer ultra dousing device, I believe, is it. That's right. In which game did Mario first encounter the poison mushroom? Uh, that is the lost levels, I believe. Yeah! I'm acing this quiz so far, going back in time. Which game did Mario first uh, get sleepy and take a nap when the player was idle? Oh, Super Mario World? No. Super Mario 64. Ah. Which is the first Super Mario game where Mario's hat can be blown off his head? Blown off his head. Blown off his head. Super Mario Odyssey? Oh, it's Mario 64 again. Man, in the original Super Mario Bros. game, Mario's iconic overalls weren't blue. They were uh, in the original. This is the first one. Green. What? Red? Oh, jeez. See? I suck. I suck. <laughs> My Mario knowledge is horrible. My Mario knowledge is horrible. So let's see. Did we get the points for it, though? So we so we completed that. Let's go back here. Let's refresh. Let's refresh the missions. It just says to take it. Yeah, we got that fifty, right? Let's see if it's added to my total at the top. Yeah, I got one hundred and twenty. But 
this is just cool. I, I like that Nintendo does this. I wish, the one thing I wish Nintendo would do is take these My Nintendo stuff and make it, like, show it on Switch. Like, you have to, you don't even know about these Poochie achievements or anything that you can get these coins with. Like, you just don't know about them uh, unless, <clears throat> unless you're told. Right? Like, that's the crazy thing. You, unless you're told, you don't know about them. Because it doesn't tell you really on Switch. I know there's a news section, but why doesn't it tell you in-game? This is why we need this stuff to be in-game. Um, so, I like that they're doing this. I think it can be done better. But, hey, some new physical awards. So, uh, enjoy, guys. Good luck. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.